Okay guys, I am going to do curry two ways. I'm going to do a sweet curry for you and I'm going to do a Bombay curry for you. I'm pretty much just going to put them in two um, crock pots I've got here and I'm just going to put them in the oven on real low. I was going to go to bed but I've got meat that I need to cook because it's going to yeah, be bad. Um, so I'll show you the meat that I've got and then I'll show you what I'm making. So the first curry I'm going to do is the sweet one and I've got some bananas here that I have frozen and they're pretty good, they're pretty good still obviously. You can tell they're not, not they're a little bit bruised but I'm going to just put probably So two, two bananas in there. The two diced onions into here, just brown ones, and I'm gonna put some vegetable oil in here, probably about a tablespoon. And I'm gonna put it on the stove on a medium heat and just start to sort of brown the onion a bit and just soften that banana up. I'm adding a diced green apple. I am putting a tablespoon of mild curry powder, half a tablespoon of cumin, a half a tablespoon of coriander and a tablespoon of garam masala and I've also got a teaspoon of salt in here. So that's all going to go in. I've got two tablespoons of sultanas. I'm going to tip those in. And I've got about a quarter of a cup of fruit chutney. So the sweet curry I've just added about 800 grams of diced beef. This is the blade steak one. I'm just gonna give it a good stir until it sort of browns up a little bit. I'm going to add a can of diced tomatoes, one cup of beef stock and then I've got this container of veggies that I'd cooked that I didn't use. Normally I just would put these veggies in this anyway. So they're ready to cook. And I'm just going to give that a good stir. And this will just be cooking in the oven on low. I'm going to cook it for a few hours and get that meat really nice and tender. I've also added two tablespoons of uh, crushed garlic to this as well. So for the Bombay curry, I am putting some olive oil in my big heavy base pan and I'm adding two diced brown onions. So I'm just going to get them going, soft, start softening them up as well. And I've got two separate resting spoons with, yeah, self-explanatory. So with a Bombay curry, you just cook in the onion just to soften a little bit. You don't really want to brown it too much. And then you're going to add in your spices. So in here I have, oh, let me see. I've put a tablespoon of crushed garlic. I've done a half a tablespoon of our chilies that I've ground myself. I've got a tablespoon of grated um, well, it's supposed to be grated ginger, but I've just used my ginger out of the bottle because that's all I've got at the moment. Uh, one and a half teaspoons of turmeric, one teaspoon of cumin, and one tablespoon of coriander. And I'm supposed to put some chilli powder in, but I've got quite a bit of chilli in here already, so I'm not going to do that. But I'm going to add a teaspoon of salt in this, into this as well. Bombay curry, we are gonna crank the heat up and we're gonna tip all the diced meat in here and we're gonna give it a good stir until they're all like brown.
Okay guys, the meat is browned. Turn the heat down and I'm going to add in one can of diced tomatoes. I'm going to give this a good stir and this is going to cook on a low heat for about an hour and a half till it's tender. Okay, so the Bombay curry cooked in the oven for a couple of hours and the meat's all beautiful and tender and I just mixed a tin of coconut milk through that one and this is a sweet curry which looks absolutely good like they, look, they both look good but looks so yummy